It took less than 24 hours for some malicious actors to realize that she was training off social media. And they began a data poisoning attack. Now, before we go into that, how did you get into the world of AI? Yeah, it's a great question. It actually takes me all the way back, can you believe it, to 2016. Uh, in 2016, at that time, still at Microsoft, I was working in our CTO office. And I was working on the frontier of working on product market fit for new technologies. So as we release something, let's say IoT becomes a trend, what are customers going to do with this? What scenarios will they unlock? And in 2016, the breakthrough at that time was natural language processing. You know, the ability in a sentence to be able to identify a word and understand the intent of the sentence from the word. We had services like language understanding that were just coming to the fore. Well, I still remember the date, March 23rd, 2016. Microsoft Research was using these technologies in a new way to try and create more of a consumer-grade AI experience, a bot that could talk to you about the weather, about celebrity gossip, talk to you about the movies, what you want to see this weekend. Well, if we all know the story, that bot's name was Tay. And it took less than 24 hours for some malicious actors to realize that she was training off social media. And they began a data poisoning attack. And Tay went from being friendly, being talking about celebrity gossip, to being racist, hateful, and denigrating. We took her down. Now, while my team wasn't involved in that project directly, we were building chatbots for large brands all around the world. And it was an awakening moment for me because I recognized that while AI ethics was a topic of amazing, interesting research, I didn't think it applied to our customers. And at that moment, I realized it did. It could have been any one of these big brands that we were working with that were suddenly had their reputation damaged or had their customers being offended by the services that we were building. And so I pivoted my career. I thought, Innovation is interesting, but the area that I wanted to focus on next was thinking about the responsible use of technology. And so I actually took my team, we continued the innovation charter, and we started a charter around AI ethics. And that was my foray really into AI as I started to partner with Microsoft Research, with our legal organizations, with policymakers to think about what our principles for AI are and how we turn those principles into policies and then how we turn policies into technology.